So you may have noticed in Adobe Muse, when you create a hyperlink on a brand new web page, you get this lovely blue highlighted, underlined, nasty, nasty text. And uh, if that's cool, then, then I don't want to be cool because that's just not looking good at all, especially when you've got different colored backgrounds on gray that couldn't look worse. Actually, I take that back. It looks worse on blue. So if you want Adobe Muse to leave your hyperlinks alone, check this out. If I go and I select some hyperlink text here and click hyperlinks and go into edit link styles, I know what you're thinking. I'm just going to change the style, right? But this isn't just about the style being set one particular way. This is about Adobe Muse leaving my existing formatting and color alone unless I change it. Now, I'm cool with having a, a, a nice rollover color, but I definitely don't want uh, my text to turn blue on a blue background. So I'm going to do something here that you might not think to do, and that's to set the color to transparent. That's the white box with the line running through it. Notice what happened. It didn't actually make the text transparent. It just leaves the color unchanged. Now what about the underline? I could uncheck the underline. But that means all hyperlinks will have no underline. Whereas if I click again and get this little box, this little box means inherit the existing style. Leave it alone. That will leave it alone. I can set my rollover color to something special. And then I can set everything else to, uh, well, just to prove a point here, I'll just... Uh, set these to transparent and you can see my text is very much so visible it is not transparent it is simply the addition of color through the hyperlink preferences that is transparent it's not changing the color so if I preview this in the browser now if I hover over I get my nice green but if I don't change it it doesn't change if I don't highlight this and say that I want it to be uh, we'll say like a reddish color then it just won't be a reddish color I get to do what I get to do, and Adobe Muse doesn't take over. It's really nice. I discovered it on accident uh, just by seeing uh, what the transparent button would even do on a hyperlink, and it turns out it just means leave my hyperlinks alone. So if you guys like this, please subscribe. I've got more cool tips and tricks coming soon.